my dad was a part of this franchise. And I was like, duh, it would be amazing. What I mean, come on now. I mean, I'm Stephen Wonder can see that. Come on, let's not let's not get it twisted. So I mean, how it would be unbelievable to have a 25 year old superstar in the prime of his uh, career to come here. I mean, we've seen what happened when when you know Shaq came here from Orlando. I mean, that's what the Lakers do. They they go get out the big fish, you know. So the Pelicans have agreed to finally trade. Anthony Davis to the Lakers. To the Lakers. Hello everyone, this is all about basketball. And this is my take about the trade between the Lakers and the Pelicans. I told my little bro before when LeBron was still with the Cavs, if they get LeBron and AD together in a team, add some helpful players, then boom! A championship material. I am saying this and because I am an AD or LeBron fan, I'm saying this and will say it again, these two players in the team together can fly towards NBA Finals. Take note, both of them should be healthy. I am not saying this without a proof, so let's take a look at their career average during regular season for both of their teams. For AD, that will be for Pelicans and LeBron, that will be Cavs, the Heat, and the Lakers. I am not worried about playoffs average because we all know the playoffs LeBron will outperform his season's performance. Davis will surely do the same. Now talking about regular season career average, LBJ played over a, th a thousand games which is over 700 compared to Davis. With those average or with those number of games, LBJ played an average of 38.6 minutes per game, while AD played 34.6 minutes per game. With those playing times, LBJ has an average score of 27.2, and AD has 23.7 points per game. If they both average over 20 points per game with Lakers, I don't see them losing. And with those points per game average, they still manage to have an amazing field goal percentage. LBJ is shooting 50.4% with 34.3 from the three-point line, while AD is shooting an average of 51.7%, which is more impressive in with 31.4% from the three-point line. AD is a big man, so it's only natural for him to get 10.5 rebounds per game and 2.4 blocks a game that will surely help Laker defense. And I hope LeBron will, pay, will play point forward or play the point guard position with Davis on the roster as center or forward. By the way, LeBron is averaging 7.4 assists per game, which is higher compared to some notable point guard in the league. And with those stat average, if they continue to deliver the same stats or even better, I don't see why 2020 NBA Finals not happening. Well, that's my take to the upcoming NBA duo. What's your take? Leave your comments below to let everyone know about what you think. And subscribe for more basketball content.